Hello there. Have you ever visited Galaxy's Edge at Disney? Did you know that this galactic outpost in a galaxy far, far away teamed up with Target stores for exclusive Black Series action figures? Welcome to Unboxing the Boxes, my Star Wars collection. This is episode 191, the Star Wars Black Series action figures of the Galaxy's Edge Trading Outpost. In 2020, Target, Disney, and Hasbro teamed up to provide six exclusive action figures from the Galaxy's Edge Outpost to be sold at Target. I was lucky enough to pick up all six of these figures. And then, of course, there were the Black Series sets of figures that you could get at the Galaxy's Edge Outpost itself at Disney. And those were sold back in 2019. I was lucky enough to pick up two out of those three. So before we go through these, let's get that trivia question out of the way, shall we? And today's trivia question is kind of fitting for this particular time of year with what's been going on. And for some of you, this is probably going to be pretty easy. For others of you, it might make you think a little bit. The question is, 2021 saw the release of what animated TV show? A continuation of the Clone Wars saga created by Dave Filoni and starring Migna Wen and Freddie Prince Jr. The title implies that these post-Clone Wars clones were not the greatest. Should pretty well give it away right there, I think. But we'll go through the answer later on in the video. Right now, let's have some fun and go through those exclusive figures that were available at Target from the Galaxy's Edge Outpost. Like I said, I was lucky enough to pick up all six, so this time I'll actually have all six to show you. The first one is our favorite DJ, and that is DJ R3X. Rex was recently reprogrammed to be a DJ in Oga's Cantina. Today, he can be found playing the latest hits from around the galaxy in the heart of the Black Spire Outpost. I like this figure. Of course, I like DJ. I like Rex pretty good here. It's fairly detailed. You can tell looking at him that, yes, he has been around the block a few times. Uh, he's got some paint that's wearing off. He's got a few dents and scratches here and there. But overall, it is a great looking figure. And if you uh, have ever been to Galaxy's Edge, you know that DJ works really, really hard. He is constantly giving his all for the entertainment of those who come to visit him. So that is the first one. The next one we have is Hondo Onaka. Man, I was glad to get this one. I liked Hondo. He is one of my favorite characters from the Clone Wars and the Rebels TV show. At the famous Black Spire outpost on Batu, Hondo Onoka started Anoka Transport Solutions to run contraband through the galaxy. And if you've been to Galaxy's Edge, you know that if you go to the Millennium Falcon ride, Hondo's the one that kind of introduces you as to what your goals are when you get on the ride at the Millennium Falcon. Looking at the figure, of course, it is a good figure. It's a very nicely detailed figure. A lot of detail in the face, good detail in the outfit he's wearing, and of course, he comes with his own blaster. And as you've noticed, these two figures are also characters that you see at Galaxy's Edge. The next one is Captain Cardinal. And if you ever wanted a red stormtrooper, this is the one to get. Captain Cardinal served as Armitus Huck's personal guard, as he was among the orphans that Brendel Hux took in to create the First Order from. The figure is really nicely detailed, I think. Of course, it's only red and black, the two basic colors, other than for the cape that has kind of a silver band around the edge of it. Nice addition to this, this particular collection, I think. And I do like, I don't know if you've noticed or not when you were reading or when you were looking at these figures, but it does say transported from Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, trading outpost. The next one in the series is the Mountain Trooper. And I like this one. 
I like the stormtroopers that are a little different than the regular troopers that we get. Like all First Order stormtroopers, specialized units of Batu Mountain Troopers are trained from birth, growing up with unit designations instead of names, and fed a steady diet of First Order propaganda to ensure absolute loyalty. I like the way his uniform is kind of scuffed up, and as you know, Galaxy's Edge is all based on the sequel trilogy. We'll put him over here. The next one we have is a droid. Yes, it's about time to have a droid. And we have R5P8. R5P8 is Hondo Onaka's most capable astromech and serves as an automated repair mechanic on Hondo's many starships. This sassy droid calls Hondo out on occasion, always keeping the pirate on his toes. Looking at this droid kind of reminds you of R5D4 from A New Hope. But you can tell this droid works hard because he's fairly dirty and Hondo obviously does not clean him up at all. Overall, a very good looking droid. I like this one. It is a good addition to the collection. The last one of the six that we have here is Commander Pyre. A fearsome First Order Stormtrooper officer, Commander Pyre stands out from among the legions of identically equipped soldiers with his black and gold armor. It's not very often we see officers wearing a different color armor, especially gold. He comes with two pistols. We've got a gold blaster and a black blast blaster. A great looking figure. I would really, it would really be kind of interesting to see a whole army of this one. That would kind of be a little intimidating, wouldn't it? Well, there we go. We have the six figures that was sold at Target exclusively from the Galaxy's Edge Trading Outpost. What do you think of these? Leave a comment below and let me know. Now let me get these out of the way because I have three sets of figures to show you that come directly from the Galaxy's Edge Outpost. All right, the first one of these is probably the first one that I picked up, and I was lucky enough to be at Galaxy's Edge at Disney World when I picked this up, and that is the Smuggler's Run Set, which includes Rey, Chewbacca, and Hondo. And this one actually has a window, kind of like a book. You can open this up, and then you can see the figures that come with it. Now, including those three figures, we also get a couple of porgs to go along with it. And as far as accessories go, we do have Chewbacca's bowcaster, we have a lightsaber and staff for Ray, and we have a pistol for Hondo. Now, before I started this video, I decided to, okay, is this Hondo different than the Hondo we saw before? And what I found out was, it appears to be exactly the same figure. So it's this figure packaged in this one. Actually, this one came out first. The set came out first. So this is a repackaged figure of that. By the way, this came out in 2019. These were 2020. A nice set of figures, if I do say so. The Like I said, the front of the box looks like that. The back of the box shows you what the different characters are that are included. The edge of the box is similar to the edge of the box of the single figures. So there we have it. The three pack from 2019. Now there was another set of Black Series action figures available in 2019 at Galaxy's Edge in the Droid Depot. So of course, what are they going to be? Droids. And we've got our favorite droids here. When we look at the front of the box, we can see it comes with BB-8, R2-D2, C-3PO, and DJ R3X. Once again, this is one of those boxes that's Velcroed on the one edge, and you can open it up to see what it all looks like inside. This one's a lot, lot less fancy than this one was. Just a white background for the droids here. But when we look at the individual droids, we can see it is a pretty good figure for C-3PO. Um, a good figure of R2-D2, and it's a dirty R2-D2. But of course, R2-D2 is not as dirty as BB-8. It looks like he's been rolling around in the mud and sand and everything else he could find. 
And then, of course, we have DJ Rex. When we compare this DJ Rex to the one boxed here, it looks pretty much the same. That DJ pretty much matches this DJ. So we got two figures that have been repackaged. I wouldn't be surprised that these other figures are repackaged too, just to form a set. But we know at least these Galaxy's Edge ones were repackaged. Still a good set of droids for your collection. Now in 2022, there was another set of droids that were available. From the Droid Depot again. And this time, we have a set of five different droids. And these droids are R1J1, BR72, L4R6, C2B9, and EG01. And if you haven't caught on yet, these are droids that you would see when you visit Galaxy's Edge. Now this one, of course, does not have the book open or the hinged cover on it because we have a clear window in front of this one. So obviously the uh, marketing team decided to save a little money on the hinged cover and just go with the open set, you could say. But the droids do look great. You can tell they're all hardworking droids because they're all dirty. Uh, as far as which one of these is my favorite, I would almost have to say that I like RJ71, which is the tall black one here. This set, in case you're wondering, was regularly priced $49.99. So five Black Series action figures for 50 bucks. So pretty much 10 bucks a piece. That's a pretty good price on that Black Series figures. I can tell you, these other ones were not that cheap. For example, this one was $69.99, so 70 bucks for four action figures, or four droids, if we want to call it that. And I don't know if I got a price on this one. Oh, yes, I do. This one was also $69.99. So spend a little money getting the sets, but overall, I think they're great. They look good. Now, let's get this off to the side here, because it is time to review the trivia question. The trivia question, once again, was 2021 saw the release of what animated TV show? A continuation of the Clone Wars saga created by Dave Filoni and starring Ming-Na Wen and Freddie Prince Jr. The title implies these post-Clone Wars clones are not the greatest. And the reason I picked this one is because of the series return to the Disney Plus channel this week. Of course, that is the Bad Batch. So back in 2021, we saw the first season of the Bad Batch. And now we have season three, which will be the last season of the Bad Batch. I've watched two of the episodes so far at the time I make this video. So I'm looking forward to see how this goes. I've enjoyed the first two videos. They uh, not a whole lot of exciting things happening. Well, episode two had some exciting things happening, but they seem to be setting up for what's going to be coming up later in the series. So I'm looking forward to it. Well, what do you think of all of these action figures, this Black Series? Were you lucky enough to pick these up when they were released? Or didn't you see them in the stores at all? I know I had to look for these, and I think it took me a couple of times to find them. They are great to have as part of my collection. Well, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and of course hit that notifications bell so that you're notified when new videos come out. Until next time, may the force be with you and keep collecting!